This segment brought to you in association with Burger King. It's sports time now. Good evening, Damien. I know the uh, cricket world is still mourning the death of legend Seymour Nurse. Definitely, Shane. It continues. Prime Minister Mir Amor Motley has paid tribute to cricket legend Seymour Nurse. In a statement, Ms. Motley expressed profound sadness at the passing of the former Barbados and West Indies batsman. Ms. Motley said that though Nurse made a name for himself, his country, and the whole Caribbean back in the 1960s as a batsman of immense class, he would have in more recent times endeared himself to countless younger Barbadians through his work as a cricket coach. The Prime Minister went on to say that time's journey being what it is, not one child he coached as he visited schools around the country as an employee of the National Sports Council would have had the opportunity to see him execute any of the exquisite batting shots for which he became legend while wearing the West Indies cap. She added that the life lessons nurse imparted to them while wearing his coach's hat for so many years would have positively impacted countless young minds on and off the field and no doubt will continue to live on even after his death. Well, for the second year running, the National Primary School's volleyball competition will feature on the annual sporting calendar, and there's expected to be an increase in participation based on an initiative to develop the sport. The Volleyball Club's assisting youth program, or VK, has partnered with a select group of primary schools across the island in the hope of developing the sport at the junior level. Given that the clubs are community-based, the pairings between them and the schools have been completed based on proximity to each other. We know that primary schools especially do not have infrastructure for the teaching and learning of volleyball. That's why we decided as an organizing committee to sit down and come up with an idea to assist primary schools. And the quickest way to do that is to use the existing infrastructure that we have, volleyball clubs, who are in communities, because the volleyball clubs are community-based, and we spoke to the clubs and we asked the clubs, would you be willing to assist primary schools to learn the sport of volleyball? And we got an overwhelming yes from the clubs. So what we decided was to partner every primary school who is willing to be a part of the primary school competition with a volleyball club. Now, Carlton Club has been paired with the Eiffel School and St. Cyprian's Chargers Club, Wesley Hall Juniors and Hinesbury. Deacons Club will mentor Deacons Primary and St. Stephen's, who were the hosts of today's media launch, Tapham Toners, Wilkie Cumberbatch and Luther Thorne. Warren's Club has Sharon Primary, Eden Lodge and West Terrace, and Progressive, once on board, will mentor St. George Primary and St. Jude's. Now, the Barbados Volleyball Association has endorsed the VK uh, Committee's initiative as it lends to ensuring the longevity of the sport on the island. We've long talked about getting volleyball into the primary schools. As Ms. Broom alluded to earlier, we compete with cricket and uh, netball, football. Those are sports that are focused on at primary level within the National Sports Council. And we've long been trying to form a partnership to try to get volleyball into the primary schools. And this is a perfect initiative to, going forward, try to encourage people to get involved in volleyball at a young level, a young age. Well, the Tri-Nation Series match between Ireland and Bangladesh was abandoned this morning after rain ruined any prospect of play in Dublin. Both teams will therefore share the points. Ireland have yet to win a match in the series after losing to West Indies in the series opener last Sunday before Bangladesh defeated West Indies by eight wickets on Tuesday. The Windies will take on Ireland in the next match on Saturday at the same venue and the weather forecast is reporting much better for that game. And you can watch the action on MCTV's ESPN2 at 5.45 a.m. Well, Shane, you know, last evening we tested your agility. We looked at some uh, fitness people. Now, coming up this weekend, it's the same. We've got the, uh, one of the highly anticipated events on the sporting calendar for 2019. Well, that gets underway this weekend at Featherbed Lane in St. John. It's the fourth edition of the Barbados Ninja Throwdown set for May 11, featuring 70 overseas competitors. This year we have, an, uh, I mean, just behind us, we have an unbelievable course. D despite the rain... We've got two water features. I mean, we've got 
20, 23 international competitors that are competing in the adult category. We have one um, international competitor competing in the teenager category and all locals in our 8 to 12 category. So it's going to be a well-balanced and family fun event and competition. You know, you can expect a lot of big moves, big splashes, big splashes and some big finishes on the day of as well. And this year we'll see double the amount of international entries from last year and organizers say it will be a boost to the country's economy. Apart from the competitors, what's really unique about, about the competition and this year, because we are family oriented, the competitor is coming with either mother, father, uh, wife, um, family members. So each competitor is bringing at least one to two other people and their, their stay on the island is a minimum week stay. Well, Minister of Sports John King has also endorsed the event and is encouraging all Barbadians to attend. Well, the Ministry of the Creative Economy, Culture and Sports is very, very pleased to be involved um, with this event. It's one of the things that we've been um, supporting for a number of years now in terms of getting a lot of our staff members were the ones who would come up to this venue and, and actually were the ones who told me about it. Even though, even though Monica and I have been friends for a long time, um, I didn't get a chance to come until last year, I believe it was. Right. And I was totally blown away at, at, as to what I saw. And, you know, when you talk about the creative economy, this is, this is exactly a shining example of that. Because here it is, you take your home and you turn it into a venue and then you take um, a sport that people probably would have only seen on television and followed and actually have it right here in beautiful Barbados.